Hello folks, it's uh, day seven with the Mohans at uh, Mamalapuram. Um, any thoughts immediately come up for you, Nick? Well, my first one is I'm just a little bit getting, I'm, I'm just getting a bit bored now sitting by the Indian Ocean. Um, in the heat, it's about, what's it, about 25, 26 degrees at the moment. Easily. Easily. Yeah. Um, there was lots, as usual, uh, today, there's a couple. Well, I want to make one point, and as usual, Mark will say a couple of things. But um, I like this word that uh, the Mohans or Mohanji said uh, was "praya chittam," "praya chittam," which basically means um, creation of of a new mind. And I went, okay, okay. And then he said, "Oh, it's linked to pranayama." And I went, "Yeah, now I, now I get the connection." And basically. If you work on your breath, hold the intention with a kind of a good mantra that, that creates a nice feeling, maybe a feeling of positivity, of space, uh, thoughts subside, you just kind of develop or begin to develop a new mind which kind of starts to over overlay the old mind. You know, change, I think basically I went away thinking, okay, change is possible you got to work at it but change is there yeah I think like one of the things that is very obvious that we have certain ways of being some scatters and the way our mind works has uh, some scatters and the way we respond and react which really like habits is maybe the word that some scatters is loosely translated as um, and for us to work with ourselves so if we want to work with our anger or we need to work with forgiveness and compassion building that side of ourselves and we want to kind of reform ourselves you know we kind of want to like change who we are to be better people who live in truth who are aware of what truth is which is the word vidya is um uh wisdom or truth in sanskrit and that idea is like false knowledge. So we want to work with proper knowledge, proper truth, and therefore act on that and do proper actions, and therefore we'll be happier, pleasanter, more complete people. Yeah, F solved, if you, <laughs> if you like. But he did say today as well, you know what, this just takes time. It takes a lot of time. And uh, one other thing I think also was this, um, this idea that uh, you can be bound by your actions or you can be free by your actions. And I, I, I quite like that idea that, you know, when you do something, you can have very high expectations of what's really going to happen. But that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of constraining you a bit. So when you do an action, he was really saying, you know, just let it go. I mean, that you may get rewards or you might not. But I think there's, a, there's just an intention of changing your your behaviors and values so all those positive actions that you you do think or you do just create a feeling of karma and positivity but you're not really thinking about the rewards that's yeah that's not what you're thinking about, yeah I, th I, think. I think what he said was uh, in terms of like our expectations there's so many external factors like yeah, contribute the to yeah. the result that our expectations may never be met but there's an internal expectation and an internal change which is more important than anything external we also did a beautiful chant with the uh, energy energy today which was hydrogram mama surya mitraya namaha which means just as the sun the, the external sun cleanses the earth can our internal sun uh remove all our blemishes and all our um defects you know and, and actually it reminded me a little bit of what the the 12 step program people do like the one of their steps is to try and remove all their defects and help and work through a program to remove their defects wisdom's wisdom you know like whether it comes from the 12 step program or whether it comes from yoga or whether it comes from jesus or allah or the talmud wisdom is wisdom you know yeah, I think there's one word I use that hasn't been used here, but the one word I always say is cultivate. You're kind of cultivating shanti peace. You're cultivating positivity and positive, positive mind, positive actions, 
positive outcomes, positive relationships, but you have to work at it. That's why that cultivate is a really good word. You can't just plant the garden and just let it go, you know, let it grow all, all around you. You have to be watchful and look at your mind garden and say, okay, I've got to keep on tuning into this garden and cultivate this, yeah. this sense of positivity and peace. Otherwise, yeah. you know, you can be really insightful, have amazing insightful moments in your life, and we all have, and who don't practice yoga, but you lose the opportunity to, to plant that seed and grow it. And so yoga is not really a, a religion. It's a practice that creates internal peace. And it just makes you have better sense of the world around you, as Mark said. All those external factors can really, you know, can get, get, get to us. But if you have an internal strength, internal peace, internal shanty, um, you're better equipped to face what the world can can throw at you. That would be my kind of overarching yeah. sense, yeah. I think that's a perfect uh, sentiment to end today. So thank you, oh, folks. Wow. We'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye. -bye. Bye. Nice. Nice, Mark. Nice neck kiss.